Number six is we see that Jesus Christ descended before he ascended. Uh, let's go to First Peter 3.18. Okay, it says, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and, and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. So we see there that, you know, he was, he died, and then he went to preach to the spirits in prison, and then um, he, he rose again from the dead, right? And it talks about the, the, the baptism being the, the picture of him rising again from the dead by the resurrection of Jesus Christ in verse 21. So not so clear a verse, but we just see there the same events unfolding, right? The fact that Jesus Christ died, his soul then descended into hell, and then he rose again from the dead. So here it says that he died, he was quickened by the Spirit, but by which he also went and preached unto the spirits in prison. And we believe that that prison is hell, and he went there. So I guess one purpose of going to hell was not just to suffer and, and burn for our sins, but also to, to say something to the people that were there, obviously. So I don't know what he said, um, but he said something to them when he was there because he preached unto the spirits in prison. Uh, look here in Ephesians 4. We'll read from verse 7. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, there's that ascension at the day of Pentecost, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Because remember, he gave the Holy Spirit to them after he left. <coughs> Now that he ascended, look at this, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. So here Ephesians is saying that Christ, the same Christ that ascended, descended first into the lower parts of the earth. So what's in the lower parts of the earth? It's hell, isn't it? He descended first into the lower parts of the earth before he ascended into heaven. So number six, my point is that Christ descended into the lower parts of the earth before he ascended 